Now that's the site. After, after what, three place. nights? Well, it wasn't time. It was just the right tools. And 2 -0 Ecotech, right Ecotech for the big turbo build. Probably rarely see the backside of that engine considering it's always smashed against a firewall. All right. Well, welcome to the video. This is a 2 0 Ecotech out of our trusty project car, Derek Lewis, the big turbo build V207R. And how did this start, Jay? Uh, Josh wanted to do the water bomb. It's all his fault. The water pump was leaking, so like any, you know, great owner that encourages maintenance would, wanted to get a new water pump, which we did, which is right here. And in the process of getting the new water pump in, <laughs> if you've ever watched the water pump videos, it sits right, of course, on this side of the engine bay, right against the frame rail, basically, and you can't really do anything. So. <laughs> Proceeded to drop one of the bolts down into the timing cover or whatever area um, So it just further encouraged us to pull the motor do the job right clean up all this gunk 178,000 miles has put on this bad boy and uh, You get to see the full thing because now we're gonna start putting the fun bits on Like the turbo the wastegate and all that so in the next video You're gonna see all those fancy go fast parts lined up with it there it is, ta-da! After a ton of engine hoist problems, uh, we got it sorted. So, hope you enjoy the video. Here's a quick time lapse, some little odds and ends issues we ran into, but thanks for watching. Got the hoist, absolutely massive. Struggling to see where would be best to hook some chain up. Not many options on this uh, 2.0 Ecotech B207R. Probably gonna have to figure something out here. This side, maybe tranny, Trey? Yeah, well, I think I'm gonna pull the tranny with it, obviously. So we're thinking maybe snag one of these bolts out. Go through right there because I don't see anything right here that wouldn't be breakable or prone to break or prone to put the chain against it. You don't want one like that. But coming right through here, it looks like it'd be very viable. Nothing's in the way. It's got a clear path right here. Get rid of that vacuum, this plastic vacuum hole. Don't break that. Bolt it right there in the anchor. All right, that's the plan. Next clip you'll see the F40 hookup. All right, gang. So what's holding us up? We're a little held up still, but we're almost there, I think. I think Need we're a couple more things. On the transmission mount on that side, or I guess motor mount, train mount. Um, there's one wire right here that appears to be a ground. I'll show you. There's those two. And then we're considering pull the AC compressor to a little more room this way, so we can go straight up without having to remove that bracket. We're in a unique situation. Our new hoist, which we got for. Hundred dollars, which required another probably four hours of labor or whatever, a couple hours, maybe an hour, to actually work. I had to pull this part and build this whole cylinder. 
And then we still need more fluid in it because it won't go higher than that. So you know how it is, the saga of one job with some tools that need a lot of work. So anyway, close. We need to bring the car down maybe a smidge or take this up higher. It's what it is. All right, the engine was a little cockeyed you saw in the last video. So we're going to pull these four 13 millimeters off on this side. Transmount? Yeah, transmount technically. <clears throat> For this little transmount here. So then I think we can come more straight up as opposed to as angled cattywampus as it was in the last video. <laughs> Um, but we got some more fluid for the wind or hoist. Get that in there and we're rocking and rolling. Here we go. Let's do it. Getting close. Two EcoTech, it's probably sitting on that. Whoops. <laughs> AC condensers off to make more clearance. Alternator, motor mount, water pump. See where we started the water pump job and then that became a uh, pull the engine job. <laughs> Got those old crappy coils. But there she is, all detached. AC relocation kit. Let's walk you around. Got the harness pulled up out of the way here. Connected to that mount. We pulled this mount that sits in here off. That's right here. Turbo everything's out. Exhaust, it's the back side of the water pump where the crossover pipe normally is. This is the exhaust port. Working really close. Now that's the site oh, after sure. what three nights well it wasn't time it was just the right tools and 2 -oh ecotech right ecotech for the big turbo build probably rarely see the back side of that engine considering it's always smashed against the firewall but there it is dumbass cinematic mode the water pump that became a <laughs> engine pull If this ain't a liability, I don't know what it is. You're just hanging in there. Super fun connector right in there. It's very tough to get out. Can't even zoom in on it. Yeah, there it is. Let's see it deep in there. Anyway, F40 with the turret. All right, there you go. Let's finish just getting this thing out of here. Here's the bay. Here's uh, Sean. All right, guys. Some CV used to because that was motors kind of out. Show you engine bay first, and then we'll go through the motor. I think this is the most value I could bring you guys. So, 
Here's the engine bay. Go nice and slow over everything. Fuel lines. Suspension. This does have the ECU relocation that's that plate there. There's no ECU on it right now, but there you have it, those are AC lines. There's the engine bay. And now to the engine. Like I said, hopefully. We've all seen those videos where you're looking for something specific, so I'm going to try to get as detailed shots as I can for you guys. So, this is the rear of the engine. Water. Water pump. Old water pump. Crossover pipe area. Exhaust. Normally where the exhaust manifold sits, where the new ZZP manifold will sit. I did the valve cover gasket recently. It did get pinched back in this area, so if you're doing the valve cover, be mindful of that. It's kind of finicky and they ship it all squished up, so. Um, Our guard dog. The guard dog working. Here's the F40. The classic turret, man. This thing is just all sorts of issues. Always too heavy. I did the uh, XRP, I think, um, mod or whatever it is, where you drill out the sleeve. It didn't really, didn't really work, but it's one of the original map sensors that I need to replace, or both of the map sensors. Those will be getting the new ZZP GM Stage 1 sensors that go up to 33 PSI. Down here is that lower connector I told you about. Deep in there you can see it. I'm doing this one-handed, so secondary air. Oil cooler, power steering, fluid reservoir. Starter motor. Secondary air. Sorry, there's that connector right there. That's a better view. Got to be careful See with that one pull. coming out. Plug tab pulled towards me and it came off. Justin says a pull towards you tab. Get it off. It's an orange connector. Yeah, I'll show you guys in a sec. Oh, and then, yeah, this is the old fuel rail uh, coolant hose. That's where the ECU traditionally sits. Boost solenoid, full pan, alternator. This is missing the AC condenser, which is sitting on the bench over there, um, which will go right here. And then, actually, I accidentally took two alternator bolts off, thinking I was taking the <laughs> condenser off, but um, there's that. This really annoying line. This is for actually the boost gauge. I teed off the boost line to do the boost gauge, so that is that excess line, don't worry about that. Yeah, here's the, has the belt off as well because we pulled the timing cover attempting to do the water pump, but that's that fancy little tool to hold the timing while you're doing the water pump. So I hope this walkthrough helped. If you need any other uh, clarity on anything while we have the engine out, drop a comment, get you some more details.
All right, conclusion to the evening. F40. Boom. Taking off Ecotech. Let's have that bad boy. This slave cylinder actually hasn't given us any issues. It sounds weird, we think, but no issues. It sounds a little strange, but here's the Ecotech. Oh, here's a clutch. It's over here. There you can kind of see the bolt arrangement. You need to take out. Intermediate shaft to get it off? Yeah. Yeah, I'll say about it. It was a little easier for us because it was all wonky. So, three bolts. Getting jammed up on that side. I'll take that right there. Right there, I think. And it was just kind of sitting crooked, so when we took it off, it let the train, you know, kind of drop more than fighting against the teeth. But, there she is. That's all she wrote for this video, folks. Getting the engine out, splitting the transmission, showing you the F40. She's a work in progress. Derek Lewis, the big turbo build. Got the turbo on the wastegate sitting over here. I'll give you a little teaser for the next video. Got the ZZP manifold. He's sitting on there. This thing's been sitting for two months. Yeah. Should we put this on instead? <laughs> thing is absolutely gigantic. So. But we got a little uh, down pipe, down pipe for the external wastegate. All the goodies, finally, get to put them on and I'll show you. We get to do a full mock-up here for you. It's part of the benefit of taking the engine out, but there she goes. If you like the content, guys, support the build, subscribe to the channel, like the video, much appreciated. And we see you in the fun next video. Peace.